ev when when everyone was looking um like like peasants during um lockdown, I was fine. Like line up my beard, shave my head. <laughs> like it's all good. The only the only thing is when obviously if you get like a reaction to to shaving, not nice. Other than that, that's partly why I grew my beard as well. I have sensitive skin and mm -mm, my skin does not like razors. I really really want to do that. Then go on, do it. I wonder if people. I wonder if I could change people, charge people. Sorry money to rub my head and wish them good fortune i would actually do that just to see if i could i would make some money nah you don't mm -mm. let me tell you this see you're 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 the new school of jamaican because let me tell you this that's the one thing that every jamaican will tell you don't make no bugger people put their hand in your head now do it then we turn you down <laughs> grandma grandma used to say that then we turn you down I'm like what the hell does turn you down mean Dreads are low maintenance. Yeah, but it's it's weight on your head, isn't it? But yeah, don't let don't let everyone and everybody hand for going their head. Nah, never that. Give me anxiety even thinking about that. Yeah. Depends on the dreads. Tell him. Zerk used to have dreads, so. That's that's a qualified expert on the on the subject matter. I really want to chill with the Tibetan Tibetan monks or Tibetan monks. That would be a dream holiday trip. There's a Buddhist temple not far from here, you know. It's kind of it's kind of lit up there. The vibe is is real calm. Obviously during summer and that it gets a bit too too packed up in there, but. On just like a regular, it's nice. It's like it's calm. Even the wind that blows up there is calm. Like it's proper tranquil. My dreads are low maintenance. I wake up and do nothing with my hair. Haven't washed it in months. Don't relock it at all. All right. Trying to rock that old school weekend. I like freshly retwisted locks. You're very specific about these things, aren't you? What about white dreads? They rarely look good. It's not even appropriation that gets me. It's the fact that it doesn't look good. I can reattach the older ones if I want. What do you mean? Otherwise, I hate them. Mm. What do you mean you can reattach the older ones? What you kept your you kept your hair when you when you cut it? Well, I'm I'm conf What's going on here? You can reattach dreads. Yeah, but explain. So where is it? How do you doesn't the hair like after you cut it what happens to it? You can crochet locks. Yeah, I have my old ones. How? How does the hair keep is what I'm wanting to know. It doesn't it doesn't like rot, decompose or whatever. The braids and beads on white women on the Caribbean holidays crack me up. Imagine paying someone to make you look that crazy. Wait, no. What? Wait. <laughs> Who's saying what to what now? Like, what are going on in this thing here? You crochet them, Jay. They're fine. Remember, corpses' hair still grows as do nails. Facts. Okay. But I mean, how did you? How did you keep it? Well, you just keep it in an air lock, in an airtight bag, or something like. Where? How do you preserve your hair? And will you re yeah reattach them then in a bag? All right, say that. They make me laugh when they say cane rows hurt their heads and ask they ask me if they hurt mine and I'm like nope, hair doesn't die. Oh, it multiplies. No, no, we don't die. Yes, we multiply. Anyone test gonna hear the fat lady saying? Murderer, I'm the lyrical gangster. You know how much I used to love that song when I was a kid. <laughs> Still living like that. Big up, Ani Kamozi. Na 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 na. If I do karaoke, I'm singing that. Na 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 na. Here comes the hard stepper. Murderer, I'm the lyrical. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely doing that for karaoke. Are you mad? 
I will mash up the place with that. So I was built. I was built for that. I love karaoke. Finally, we're on. So we're onto something that like okay, we're on something new now. I reattached them when I dyed them. The ones detached are green, but my hair is blue, so they have to wait until I feel like adding them back again. All right, say nothing. You're in, you're in the you're in the colors of the of the rainbow flag, yeah. Say nothing. I love karaoke. What's your go-to song? Do you even have a go-to song? And what's the highest score you've ever had? I think I got, I got 97 out of 100 once. I think I did Ed Sheeran's, um, you know, we found no right where we are. On karaoke, it gives you a score. When your legs don't work like they used to before. Listen, a man's a musical genius, you know. Like, ask about me. <laughs> <laughs> I sang poorly and somehow scored highly. I don't know what happened. I feel like it was the alcohol that put me over the edge. Like it was the confidence. I play sing star. I don't know what that is. So many bad experiences having my hair braided by by my mother. Didn't care what I requested. She did whatever style she felt like and said done. She couldn't care less whether I liked the style or not. Unlucky. That's why you go to a hairdresser more time, isn't it? You gotta break the cycle. I play I'm a boss. You don't know what Sing Star is? No, I don't. It's like Guitar Hero, but for karaoke, I pfft, no idea. You got like a special mic? That's I, I'm so. How does it work? I can't know everything. I don't know everything. I've never said I know everything. Like, take time with me in it. If I'm asking what something is, don't make me feel shame for not knowing. Basically, listen to Return of the Mac recently. What a great listen. Yeah. Turn in the Mac is one of the one of them, you know what I mean, them great songs. If I wasn't, I I really don't want to get copyrighted. Otherwise, I would literally bang some some bad man songs from Spotify. I've been going through, <clears throat> looking for songs that are great, and then going on the you hit the three dots and then you go to song radio and then looking at the playlist and then just yep 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 I'll have some of that 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 that. And then I'll go again where I feel like there's one that's like very different from what's in the radio stuff. Another radio stuff. I've been finding so many bangers. I was like, rah, how is this not in my collection already? Like, let's be honest now. We all have access to all of the music ever created. Well, most of it on Spotify and these things now. May as well make use of it. Especially when it comes to like nostalgia music. Actually, I need to, I swear I have Lomb the Lombardo on there. I remember that. They used to show that music video in Jamaica almost every day. But yeah, I listened to that as well. The Lombardo was a bad man song. I'm trying to think as well. Some of the. You know what I mean? Sometimes you, you get transported to a space when you listen to nostalgic music. The Bad Touch by the Bloodhound Gang. Don't even know a man got cheated on until later. Any man, <laughs> any man is in a full tent, um, trench coat and clothes looks dangerous though. I when they when they said dude was um was British, I used to be like no way. I think it was like Australian or something. That is not that didn't sound like no British accent I've ever heard. But yeah, fair enough. Shout out to Mark Morrison. The bad touch by the Bloodhound. The Bloodhound Gang. Limp Biscuit rolling. Chocolate Starfish! I actually listened to that the other day, you know. <laughs> Dope. I love a pop song. Put on NSYNC and I'll be singing and bringing out the dance routine. We're talking about music and you come in here talking about NSYNC. Shame on you. That's why Justin had to leave that thing and be great. <laughs> Nah, I'm playing. You, they, I know people. Yeah, especially like when we were in school, girls used to used to bang um and sing for real. I remember we went to a, it was a Sweet Sixteen birthday party in Jamaica. I think my friend played played um, you know um, was it is it gone? How many times did she play that? Did she make us listen to that song? I want to say she played it like ten times in a row, like. To the point where I was sick of the song by the end of that. Like I don't think I've even heard that song since. Bye bye bye. It's gonna be me. Girlfriend with Nelly. That's a tune. Which one is the tune? What? Gone. 
Was it something I said to make you turn away? Oh my gosh, how many times are you gonna play this shit? <laughs> Run some other tunes now, man. Jeez. She played it 10 times. And it's like, well, it's not my birthday. I can't say nothing. But gee whiz, man. Stretch. No, nothing clicked. So, anyway, I just had a good massage. So, I feel a bit. You know, that coupled with the Irish moss, I'm on a, I'm on a roll. Do need to get back in the gym though, but I need to buy some new, some new sneaks first. <laughs> thank you, thank you. But so are those ones. Nah, they're not. What about Britney? Irish moss is clapped. You have you ever actually had Irish moss though? Not sea moss, like not the normal one, like the real Irish stuff. Oh, here we go. I'm talking about the the IUD, IUD, IV, whatever that thing is. Not being able to... I bought it out of my own pocket and was pissed. Maybe maybe your, 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 um, your Irish moss making techers are just not... They're just not it. It's supposed to have a neutral taste. It's not really supposed to be... And you need key lime as well when you're when you leave it to soak. And then you gotta be careful how much you're using. Then you gotta store it in a jar and then you gotta try and use it within like two weeks. Someone on my wavelength. Oh get out of here. So when you lot mention Britney, yeah, all of that sounds long. It's it's literally easy. Pull it out, weigh it, wash it, maybe wash it twice. Obviously it's got the smell of the sea and that going on. Soak it in water with key lime in it. Pour off the water. Put it in a blender. Add the water steadily. Like, let it, you know what I mean? Like, let it blend and then add water if you need to until it becomes like a gel or a paste. Store it. That's it. It's not hard at all. And then it tastes nasty. It has a neutral taste. It has no, there's no nasty taste. If it... If you add it to juice, if you add it to soup, if you add it to whatever, you don't taste it. So you don't know what you're talking about. Nah, I'm sorry. If you that means you've not prepared it properly. What what does it taste of then? What is describe this nasty taste? Every remix is every remix the gimme more instrumental stuff. What what were you saying? Britney Blackout album. Britney Blackout album. was a moment in time <laughs> I didn't even know the name of her album it's going to sound silly but work work bitch and slave for you have a new meaning now <laughs> you lot know multiple Britney songs I, I think I know um, what is it intoxication or whatever it's called and oops that's it I know I know no other Britney songs better upgrade your Britney music then I think I'm alright you know I'm I'm gonna stay over here I'm good I'll leave that to you lot still with your sing star and all that so has it got like a magic mic <laughs> she never really seemed like she had any freedom but knowing she's under someone's control for real well I know Britney music slaps what the hell all right I don't know if you lot are being serious or not, but alright, teach their own in it. Dead serious. Of course I know you are. You probably learnt to dance up watching Top of the Pops as well. <laughs> oh stop it now with this it's Britney bitch business. And what? Nothing? Nothing, Marsa. Gotta give a shout out to Had Jewel Spot, though. Out here dropping um, subs like it was Christmas. Respect, respect, respect. Respect you. 100. Justin did her and Mama Janet wrong. Uh, okay. 
Crimea River slap though. Debate that. Who's who's in here? If you're in here, make yourself known. If you're lurking, let me know you're lurking. Justin also tried the country flow. Ain't heard from him since. <laughs> you're not really on this Justin thing, innit? You know, on that suit and tie flow. They trade a good thing. It's but um bum bum but um he did his thing with the justified album. We were singing Senorita in primary school and separated in the classroom for the boy and girl parts. <laughs> he made good music when Timberland and Neptunes helped him. Did you know I think I've said this before, but um Pharrell wrote those songs for MJ. But MJ weren't trying to hear that. MJ wanted songs like he wanted to rap. He wanted song he wanted um like the kind of beats he was given to, to push a T in the clips. <laughs> Mud thing. Timberland puts everyone on. Have you seen his beat club? I don't know if it's on Twitch or whatever, but he is brutal, man. If you listen to that man, you never want to make another beat. <laughs> I gotta run another quick ad. MJ would rule the rap game right now if he was still here. MJ on a trap beat, a. Hey. His his ad libs his ad lib game alone would would bring it home. Can you imagine him mumbling on it? Like his ad libs would be some some Nick shit. I'm enjoying T Pain and and Kalani song. I like T Pain. I don't know about that. What don't you know about? All right, new poll. I ju you just read my mind. Who had the better career in music? Is the is the poll? I just literally just posted it as you said that. That's amazing. So take the poll. <laughs> that sounds wrong. Bow Wow or Soldier? Who had the better career in music? Hmm. Shad was a good performer and stuff, like he, he did his thing, but all that, that he made one video carrying on afterwards, I was just like, yeah, you didn't need to do that. All that goodwill that you've just, you've just, nah, you just went and thrown it out the window now. Yeah, he was taking a piss, to be honest. Meanwhile, Bow Wow's up because he's been in, I think he's in the next um, Fast and Furious movie, isn't it? It's like Rick and Morty, it's really catchy. <laughs> he's a troll. He's calling man Little Pee Wee. <laughs> I saw one video where. Um, He's like making fun of Bow Wow's um, Durex, selling Durex, but he has his like his lemonade or whatnot. <laughs> Rick and Morty track isn't the heat I thought it would be. What? Get Swifty. Get Swifty was a jam. <laughs> and yeah, that's where they tried to do something else. They tried to make another song after Get Swifty, but it didn't. But it, it wasn't as it wasn't as fire. She make it clap, clap, clap. She make it clap, clap, clap. Oh, okay. Real. This is real, real um split. You lot say some two to soldier, one to one to bow easy. Big Draco, the first to put Tiger in a music video, first rapper on YouTube. Crank that is iconic. Huge viral moment. Alright, fair enough. Was he the first to put Tiger in a music video? Word? Fair enough. He was a, he was definitely the first one that really understood social media. And, and I remember he had like the number one ringtone for ages. Yeah. He definitely didn't get some of the... He didn't get his flowers. Bow Wow and Amarion are an amazing duo. <laughs> the 
this up videos. <laughs> I'm dead. Yeah. <laughs> I should do this in a club one day. <laughs> One more time. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> you know you lot are doing the dance now. <laughs> I'm done. And the Ciara song where we have to say the whole thing in one breath. <laughs> I remember that. Weren't they together at one point or nah? Or was that just hype? Jermaine Dupri is an amazing producer. Yeah, I remember him and Dre had beef for a long time. And Dre got onto him saying, you know, the only reason he sells records is because he works with kids. I was like, damn, that's that's cold blooded. You didn't have to do this, man, like that. I just, I think it was like a thing of who was the best producer or whatever. Bow Wow and Ciara did date. Ciara. What's unfortunately? Beefing over what? Yeah, I don't know. Like I said, I think it was over who was the best producer or whatever, but. Did Jermaine Dupree produce Criss Cross? I'm not sure. That they dated. Why is it unfortunate? I remember people used to say those horrible things about Sarah, saying she was a homophobic or some shit like this. Like, why? I'm not sure why they were doing all of that. But you know, I remember how how kind of toxic music fandom can be sometimes. I remember how they used to go at Ashanti for like her sideburns and stuff. Look at Ashanti now. She had the last laugh. <laughs> Ashanti being goated boy is she bad they hated on Ciara badly for real they really did they really 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 did why would it even matter if she was is the problem um I think it's because then they were going to try and make it a thing where <clears throat> whoever was with her was sus or what you, you know you know it is like they come at you for no real reason. This is these are the facts. These are the facts. Bow Wow isn't a nice but hey, I don't know. I don't know nothing about I don't know about these people, so Oh, he was on one of them you like trash TV, he was on one of them things, wasn't he? Is that why you feel that way? Bow Wow was a child star and that hard I'm shake during the and during that versus that's why it was unfortunate. Because he's not a nice person? Or because he was on reality TV? I'm, I'm confused right now. But he was trying to... <laughs> nice person. Alright, fair enough. Okay, well. I don't really partake in gossip per se, so... Interesting, interesting, interesting. Oh, I might, have, I might get to have the deciding vote. And yes, and yes what? I feel like people like Bow Wow, but not Shad Moss. Ain't that, ain't that a bitch? It's like when they liked Shady, but didn't like Eminem. He was in Trash TV, exactly. Uh, uh, I Don't I get to vote in this thing? How can I not vote in my own poll? I think he said some story about Steve Jobs giving him the first iPhone, but I feel like that was Cap. And he's like, he dropped it. And they were like, oh, we'll get you another one. When you're so famous from so young, what is there that he hasn't done? Are you dropping bars right now? When you're famous from so young, what is there that he hasn't done? Alright. Look at you trying to, trying to watch the throne. <laughs> Oh, 
I heard a really fire Benny the Butcher interview the other day. That shit got me fired up, man. Like, dude is real. Like, he's on it. Like, he don't, he's not taking no prisoners. Like, he's just like, you know what? I'm going to just do this thing and I'm going to do it with 100% intensity and people are just going to have to come with me on this journey. But, yeah, he, yeah, that was a great speech. I really enjoyed that. Bow Wow said it himself in an interview. Fair enough. I mean, he was a child star, so there were certain things he wouldn't have been doing when he was a child that he'd have to wait till he was grown to do, so... But yeah, I, I feel I feel what you were saying. Yep, Soldier Boy has the better career in music. <laughs> you contributed to to, to um, you paid to vote to to put it over the edge. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Fair enough. I haven't seen it. What's it on? Is it on Amazon Prime? I know she was in Umbrella Academy. Recently, she's been getting her acting credits up. I need to 